123 over 77, 58 heart rate. I just saw there that my blood pressure is in range and it's been like that now for the last three months. Before that, for decades, it would be high. It got up as high as 180 over 100, 110. Two years ago, my doctor prescribed me medication to start lowering my blood pressure. And this is what they look like. I was on a diuretic. I was able to get it down to like maybe 140, 130, over 90, over 85 but it still remained high. And I've, I've done things to try to lower it and it's worked to a certain degree. I've taken vitamin D. I try to walk every week. I've lost 120 pounds. And without medication that's helped, I've lowered it to like 130, 140, over like 85, 90. But this one thing that I've been taking, I'll show you at my dinner table here in about a half a minute, has now lowered it to levels that it's supposed to be, 120 over 80. Sometimes, some days, it'll be 115, 110. Let me stress that I'm not a doctor, so any changes in your health regimen or your medication or anything, please consult with your doctor and work with him or her before you make any changes. So I know a lot of you are excited to find out, so I'll show you right now. I'll show you now what's in this bottle, which has lowered my blood pressure by 20, 30 points, and has put my blood pressure back into the normal range after it being high for decades. And this has been documented by Yale University, done by a study from the Yale Journal of Biology and Medicine that proves this will lower your blood pressure by 30, 40 points over a course of 45 days. What is the magic substance? Sesame oil. I'll show you how I prepare it and I add a few other things on there and I take this every evening. Okay, I wanna show you how I prepare it, but I add a few other things that's gonna help with inflammation and cleaning up the arteries and, and making them expand. Just to add more healthier elements to my drink that I'm consuming. But again, you could just consume two tablespoons of uh, sesame oil, and you definitely wanna do it untoasted. So what I do is I chop up a little small stem of turmeric and then one clove of um, garlic. So to do my sesame drink, I'm going to do about two tablespoons of sesame oil, untoasted. And if you can get all these items organic, the better. And I'm going to do like a little small piece of turmeric, turmeric, one clove of garlic. That's to help expand my arteries and help with inflammation in my brain. just regular pepper and what pepper does actually magnify the potency of the turmeric by 1000 you can look it up about two teaspoons of um, apple cider vinegar and a little pinch of cayenne pepper to help expand the arteries and it's also good for brain health I'll mix this and I'll actually let this sit for about 15-20 minutes and when you let it sit like that, the garlic will actually have a lot more anti-inflammatory components in it if you let it sit for about 15 minutes. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't taste the greatest, but when you know what it's doing for your body, and when your blood pressure just completely skyrockets down 20 points, you know, you're getting huge benefits. I'll let it, I'll let it swirl around my mouth, the liquid around my teeth. The garlic and the turmeric is super good for your teeth and your gums. And then after that I'll garlic with water just to get everything off of my teeth and out of my mouth. If you're new here, I'm the Improvement Gnome. I make videos all things improvement, whether that be relationships, health, weight loss, career, finance, spirituality. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. So as I mentioned in that video, that study on sesame oil was a Yale study by the Yale Journal of Biology and Medicine. So it's a legitimate study, and they studied people over 45 days that had high blood pressure. And their blood pressure averaged without any BP medicine or anything like that, around 160 over 90 to 100. And after taking sesame oil, replacing basically all other oils, and under that 45 days with the Yale study, they showed, they proved that sesame oil does lower blood pressure, not only by a little bit, but by a lot, by 20, 25 points. That's significant, so much so that people 
or able to get off their medication. And in that study, they took them off sesame oil, and sure enough, within days, their blood pressure spiked back up to 160, 170, over 90 or 100. Keep in mind, sesame oil is natural, so you're not taking anything that's invasive or something that's not food. So just consult with your doctor before you make any decisions. Just keep a monitor on it so your blood pressure doesn't go down too low. Let's say you are taking it with BP medication right now, and it doesn't negatively interact with any of your medications right now. So just go ahead and take it. If it doesn't dramatically reduce your BP and put it into a normal range. I had been consuming healthy fats up until starting to take sesame oil. I've been consuming olive oil, macadamia oil, avocado oil. But it was like when I started using that sesame oil that things just started to change for me with my blood pressure. And with that concoction that I made, you notice I put more things in it than sesame oil. I chopped up turmeric and garlic in there. That's for inflammation and brain health and artery health and heart health. I put some organic cayenne pepper in there and pepper to magnify the potency of the turmeric. And if you're watching this, I want you to let me know if you've tried this out and tell me what your progress is in the next 10 days, 20 days, 45 days. Put in the comment section if it's lowered your blood pressure and tell me any success that you've had with it. And make sure you bookmark this page, that way you can go back to it and let, let us all know what your blood pressure is after you started taking sesame oil. Appreciate it, you guys have a good day and as always, you. better and better. You, come here, you, yes, you, I need your help, come here. You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100, I need you. Please, you to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.